Hello YouTubers, we've made it to the 2000 rowing machine test for British Rowing Trials 2022 November edition And we're going to just get straight on to the rowing machine because honestly, I'm a little bit nervous and I know that's what you want to see anyway, so let's get to it Debrief time post 2000 meter row on the rowing machine as you saw on the screen there 555.1 Now it's time to fuel up Because remember food is fuel and it's really important to keep fueling up because By doing a 555 I am under the cutoff which is actually 605 And therefore I get the opportunity to go as fast as I can for 5000 meters on the water in the Yambo number 5 tomorrow morning so Need to prepare for that, just because I've done well on the 2K doesn't mean I'm just stopping. We have to keep going for tomorrow. So, 
fueling up, resting, recovering is a big part going forward into tomorrow. But the 2K itself, it was a really interesting one today. Um, for those of you that don't know, my PB, my personal best, is a 5.49, so six seconds off that. But that's not to say that today's score was, was bad. Um, it's just more of a reference point. The, it was interesting because that's probably closest to the most nervous, the most anxious I've been prior to a 2,000 meter row and also the most sort of negative chat in my head prior to uh, an erg piece I've had in a long time. And I think there's a couple of factors. I think the biggest thing is because I've not been at trials in Boston since uh, a few years ago now and I've not done a 2K for a couple of years now. So it's those things combined, just building up that that anxious energy, building up that nervousness and thinking, okay, what, what might happen, what might not happen? And then the biggest thoughts for me were, uh, what if I blow up in the middle of the 2K and do a really slow score, a really bad score for me? Um, or what if like, this, this, this test doesn't go well, what happens? And those kind of thoughts can easily be pushed away by just a couple of other positive thoughts, one of them being, You've done erg prep pieces already that suggest you're in this type of shape. So you aim for 555, the erg prep pieces pointed that you should be able to manage 555 and that should be fine. So have confidence in yourself that you'll be able to manage. And also, you can only go out and do your best regardless of everyone else and regardless of what's going on. So some days your best might be, for me, a little bit slower today than 555 or it might be a little bit faster but I felt like today that score was pretty much uh, a good indication of where I am right now so pleased with the score itself and also pleased with how I went through the piece I had a, a solid first 10 or so strokes a lot faster than I would normally go and um, but I just felt good about it but I probably did about eight strokes sub 120 and then sat on 130, 131 for the rest of the first 500, which meant that I was significantly further under 130 than I thought I would have been sort of thinking back to the before the 2K about my plan. But that put me in a good place for the rest of the 2K. I can watch the average and see that, okay, it's still way under 130, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling like, oh, this is hurting, but I'm feeling confident and that I've almost put money in the bank. There was just enough at the start and then a good sort of middle K where around 700 or so I could bring it down a little bit and then 500, a little bit more. You may have heard the coach behind me, Coach Colin Williamson behind, shouting different numbers or like g me on, getting me going to keep pushing, especially that last 100 meters or so, I was pushing strong and then just sometimes when you're on the rowing machine, you're doing a test, you can see the numbers tick down and you're going really fast and then the numbers are going down really fast and then I misjudged, miscalculated, a bit disappointed in this part of it. I thought I maybe had two half strokes left and if you time it right and do two half strokes, it can make the split go down quite a significant amount. But... It was probably more like four or five half strokes and miscalculated it. So it ended up rounding the score up a little bit more than I thought it would have been. Probably would have been a little bit faster if I just kept on keeping on and pushing through that. Maybe an extra two fuller strokes rather than just trying to just quickly finish off. But that's like that high pressure decision making, testing out things, strategy. And it's something that, okay, on the next one, it's easy to be like, well... That happened that time, just finish it off. Don't try and do anything fancy at the end. So overall, I felt like that piece was pretty good. DJ Dan Jones hasn't finished his yet. He's about to go off, so fingers crossed for him. And that is it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said at the start, very nervous. And I just I know you guys like seeing the, the 2K and the score. So I thought I would put the debrief in the chat and the Sometimes I do waffle at the end of the episode, so let me know in the comments below what you thought of that. And let me know in the comments below what you thought of the 2K. And if you can see anything that I could improve, that'd be greatly appreciated. And now, fueling up, recovering, relaxing, resting for 5,000 metres in Yambo number 5 on the water tomorrow morning. 
and that'll be in the next episode Jam Squad. So make sure you are subscribed so that you are notified for when that video does come out and you can see how we get on in Yambo number five. Hit that like button if you did like this episode and I will see you in the next episode. Oh, yeah.